Hey everybody, welcome back to Two Comic Book Dudes here on uh, uh, our comic book YouTube channel. We hope you uh, are watching and have watched some of our other shows. Um, you know, this is just another Xenoscope Monday because it usually comes out on a Tuesday. <laughs> We're too lazy to get it done on a Sunday night. No, um, we are trying to get a little better about that. Hopefully uh, this one will actually go up Monday evening, but you probably won't watch it till Tuesday. So um, I'm Aaron Clutter, Editor-in-Chief of Comic Booked, and with me, as always, is Justin Padgett. Justin, you want to introduce yourself? Hey, everybody. I'm Justin. Uh, I'm staff writer of at uh, Comic Booked. also run my own YouTube channel, so uh, check that out when you get a chance. Now get ready for some great Xenoscope action. That's right. Actually, you're a managing <laughs> editor now, you know. I, well, we haven't I just haven't that, announced so. it yet. <laughs> we haven't said it, so I'm not going to say anything until it's said. So. That's right. And I'm still doing your work, so, you know. <laughs> the new it's comic. Bad. Next week, you will do that. It's so. mine. That's right. All right. Well, this week, we do have two great books to review from uh, Xenoscope. And every week, um, you can go out and check out the uh, Just Another Xenoscope Monday, whether it's the video from the last few weeks uh, or our uh, the articles that I've written over the last year now um, at comicbook.com. You can just go up to the little search box in the corner and type in um, Xenoscope Monday, and you'll find all the different articles. So if you wanted to get into Xenoscope and you just don't have any idea what these books are about, you can go back all the way to April of last year and read reviews of every single book up to and including the ones that just came out on Wednesday. And now that you're watching this, the ones that are coming out, uh, on the 3rd of June, which is a, a couple days from now. So yep. we always do preview reviews for you uh, to, to keep you up to date. That's right. We're not going to spoil things. I always do a cool little cover thing, you know. So here in this case, uh, no, no. We, we try to uh, <laughs> try to make sure that we give you the basics for the book and then uh, uh, let you read it and figure out, you know, what the, the surprise ending is. But if you didn't read last week's books, we probably will spoil something from those as we talk about this week's books. Yep. Just to warn you. So this week, we have the third chapter of the Oz Saga, um, Reign of the Witch Queen, number two, and uh, Wonderland, number 36. So this is an ongoing. Um, both of them have been excellent series. And uh, um, Oz had three chapters. I, I don't remember what the first one was called. It's probably like Oz, Return to Oz or something. And Perfect. then. Um, the second chapter was called Warlord of Oz, which was pretty pretty good. Uh, a lot of things happened in that. Uh, Glinda was killed, which was really sad. Um, Dorothy was called back to Oz uh, to to battle the uh, the warlord, and uh, and then uh, you know everything kind of came down to the end of that series where uh, Smith, who's the Emerald Sage, um, revealed himself to be a traitor because he had been in love with Zamora, who was the uh, the Wicked Witch, mm -hmm. and he worked together with the Tin Man to bring her back to life, and then the Warlord, um, using Dorothy's blood, because, surprise, Dorothy is her daughter. So, the Wicked Witch, Dorothy's mom, and uh, in this uh, this issue, number two, we actually find out who her dad is, so that's yeah. kind of cool. Um, I don't know if we want to spoil that one or not, but... We could leave that detail out, I'm thinking. We could, we could. So you got to read it to find out who her dad is. Um, yep. we got to leave them yep. thirsty for more, you know. That's right, that's right. But this one, you know, at, at last issue we had Dorothy, um, everybody was kind of traipsing back from the big battle because uh, a lot of people had died. Um, Thorne's wife had been killed. Um, a bunch of the bog, the bogger guys had been killed. So as they were, you know, heading back to kind of do their, their rituals of um, – morning or whatever you know it was very interesting to see the contrast between the cultures um in here and, and the the team did a great job um and the artwork and the story is really good it really pulls you pulls you into that world so was, yeah and that's uh, pretty neat that, that's what i liked about that issue now i didn't read the issue one here of reign of the witch queen um but i thought this issue did a good job of jumping back like i think it jumps back a week so you get to see all the characters like a week ago, what they were actually going through and as well as it's intertwined with what the story is, you know, the current story of what's going on in uh, the Emerald city and the outlying yeah. areas. And the, and the week ago thing happens within this book. It didn't happen in, in issue one. So okay. um, we've okay. got that time. Period. Yeah. So we, I didn't know any of that yet. So. Um, but yeah, in issue one, 
Uh, it ends with Dorothy and, you know, if you haven't read issue one, you plug your ears right now. Um, it ends with Dorothy holding, um, uh, what's his name? Steven? King. No, shoot. King. See, I knew I was going to forget his name. Yeah. Um, they never actually say his um, name in this book. Oh, yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Oh. It's in there. Daniel or something or Steven or I, I just hate that, that I can't remember names. Samuel? Daniel? Samuel? Samuel, Samuel, that's right. So Samuel was the, the, the king basically of Oz. He was he was ruling, and um, at the end of the last issue, uh, Smith walks in. Dorothy's there with uh, the emerald um, scepter in his in her hand with the dagger popped out, and he's dead, throat slit, dead. Um, so of course, you know what are we supposed to believe? That Dorothy flipped out and killed him. We'd hope not, but we don't know because she's kind of battling with this whole control of the green and the black thing, which is what Zamora did, and we see what happened with Zamora being the evil uh, Wicked Witch and all that. So that was how it was left at the end of the last issue, so now we're dealing with the fallout from that, and Smith weaves a tale to tell well, him and Dorothy were going upstairs to see Samuel, and they walked in, and he's dead. So that kind of takes her out of uh, a suspicion, right. but still. Um, we she's, know... She's needed. She's needed for something, and they don't have time for that yep. right now. That's right. That's right. So it's very important plays a good part. We were not going to spoil that because that's very uh, key to how this this issue uh, wraps up. Um, the, the only thing I noticed is she definitely needs to wear something warmer um, there in the Emerald City because it's, it's definitely a little cold. <laughs> anything? Anything else you want to say about this this book? Um, no, I mean the the art I thought was really really good. Um, you know, even you know the scary. Crow, a character that you, it would be very difficult to express emotion with a character that doesn't actually have facial facial features. Um, but I think they do a really great job in here with him. I really yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, because in this, instead of like in the in the old movie, you know, he actually had a face and everything. But this, he's just got a sack with a rope around his neck. And right. the, that, but there's definitely some features there, and they do illustrate emotion. It's excellent. I, I really like the way that, that this team put put stuff together. It's a great book. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, and I mean, we I mentioned this. We do get to see um, the Wicked Witch and Warlord in here as they yep. begin to scheme and kind of build up what they got going on. So, yep, over at uh, Abraxas, right? At so the Abraxas Academy. So they've they've pretty much taken control of that. Um, mm-hmm. They've uh, got folks who've either joined them or died. And uh, so those are all the magic, you know, the, the people learning magic at Braxis Academy. So that's a big deal, too, because that's uh, uh, not necessarily an army, but she actually calls it a distraction. So that's kind of interesting. Right. right. That's all it is. So yep. big plot, big plot points to come. Yep. And we know that uh, they talk about the dark one. So we know she's working with Malik. Um, so we'll just have to kind of find out how that all resolves. But we're early in this series. This is two of six. So we have four more issues to go. Mm-hmm. So, Long way to go. Yeah. Yep, yeah. Yep. All right. So on to Wonderland. Down the rabbit hole. <laughs> Back down the hole. You know, uh, Wonderland's been one of my favorite series. I think, I mean, I really like Robin Hood, but Wonderland's been going on longer. And so I, it's... It's got one of my favorite characters, Dark Cheshire. I've really liked mm-hmm. him from the start. Um, and he's just gone through so many different changes. And this uh, this issue is <laughs> this episode. It's kind of like a movie. It is. Um, th- th- this issue is no different. I mean, he goes through a lot of changes just in the first few pages. Mm-hmm. Um, th- so we pick up the story with uh, Callie and the the squire, the lady there on the left of her, and uh, and Dark Cheshire, who have been hunting this creature called Nightmare. Uh, no, terror. 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 So, but he's a nightmare. Basically, mm-hmm. he invokes nightmares of people and makes them real and kills them. Um, so he's a bad dude. Uh, but he's also intangible, which has made him very difficult to catch. So, last issue, Callie retrieved um, a thing called the uh, un- Unpachant, mm-hmm. uh, which is like a shackle kind of thing, and it was a special thing she found down in the uh, uh, the tombs of the Red Kings. Uh, so it was very very interesting. They had to fight through. Um, this guardian that you know was brought to life by Callie's uh, Callie's fears, and uh, it was interesting. So there's been a whole this story arc's been really cool because they went to the Well of Dreams first, and uh, she met the um, um, 
shoot, the ladies, I can't remember what they were called. They are like three women in different stages of life. Um, and the, the, they mention them later in the book when the three, the three or four heads show up at the bottom, all of them saying the well is finite. Oh, okay. I got you. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, this, uh, you know, Wonderland's all about the will of whoever is in Wonderland. So Callie is the ruler of Wonderland. It's her will that kind of dictates the way Wonderland functions. Um, in the past, it's been ruled by some crazy mad people, the, the queens that were nuts and, um, you know, all they want to do is kill each other. And so that madness has just infested the whole the whole world. And her power is to remove that madness. So it's been really, really neat to see her work through tr- basically cleaning up the town kind of thing. Right. Um, and this is, you know, one final step catching, you know, just this, this creature and uh, that's, that's really about, so. Let's see. Yeah. I, uh, go ahead. Ending. Sorry. No, it has a twisty ending, which is pretty cool. Yes. Yes. Now the, the beginning of this book, the very beginning, the first, uh, I don't know, five, seven pages, I guess. Eight. Yeah. Seven pages is, um, is that, is that a flashback? I didn't, I wasn't. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, it, it basically, uh, as terror reveals a nightmare, which is really, and he says a nightmare that is a reality or is a memory is mm-hmm. even stronger. You know, uh, Shresher, dark Shresher flashes back to a time when he ran with the mad hatter and killed, uh, wantonly, you know, and it's really the, the sight of himself that he wants to control and, and, and push down. And the influence that Callie's had on him through this time has been really positive. Um, so that's one, he doesn't want to revert to that, but the uh, terror brings that out in him and, and uh, they do have okay. a fight. Yeah, yep. pretty good. Yeah, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Callie, like the battle armor, the white queen in yeah. battle armor, that's pretty cool. Yep. Yeah, that was pretty neat. <laughs> Uh, so this is a great series, um, you know, definitely worth picking up. Um, this the story arc is winding to a close with next issue, I believe. Um, we're well, no, this story arc just ended. And there's a new one kicking off now. Um, we've got some things with the squire. There's some questions that are going to be answered because we really still don't know anything about her except that she claims to be, you know, the last of the realm knights of Wonderland. So uh, she doesn't speak. Something about getting her throat slit and not being able to speak now. So we don't really know much about her. So maybe we'll find out more in the, the, the issues coming up. So, um, yeah, but great books this week. Um, Oz, Reign of the Witch Queen, number two, and Wonderland, number 36. So definitely look for those at your local comic shop coming out on Wednesday. Yep. If you have any questions about any Zenoscope titles whatsoever or anything like that, just leave a comment below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Yeah, we do check those periodically. So. Um, and I'm working on the, the Xenoscope folks to get us some more stuff to give to do giveaways with. Um, we're trying to find you know anything we can, special covers, or uh, if there's something you're looking for and you know you, you think maybe we can get it, I'll message them and we'll see if we can have it as a giveaway. So definitely uh, subscribe, share, like, do all that good stuff. Um, check out our website, comicbook.com. I will have some changes to that coming in the next week or so. Um, so you know, a little different look and feel, so you might want to just check it out and see how you like it. Um, definitely leave comments here. Let us know how we're doing. Let us know anything else that you'd like us to talk about. All right. Cool. All right. Well, thanks for joining us again here on uh, Comic Booked. And this is Two Comic Book Dudes. And we will see you later this week. Thanks for watching. Thanks.